Free Mom Hugs was a group that originally started in Oklahoma just by some group of gals who noticed there was a need for people to stand in at weddings and such for LGBTQ community members who don't have family members that maybe are so supportive. And so that's how the movement kind of started. And then over the years, it just kind of took off. And so all the other states were wanting to have something in their area like that. And so that's how the state chapters got started was through that need in communities all across America for people just to be there for for people in the LGBTQ community and to stand up and show that we support you and love you. And why did you decide to take part? I saw the need as well, just in our area. My oldest daughter was involved with the GSA at her high school. She was just in it since she was a freshman, and then by the time she was a senior, they were voted the Iowa GSA of the year, which was a really big thing because East hadn't really had had much of that. And you know, there was they faced a lot of backlash within the school, and so I was just really proud of her for. But we had a Halloween party at our house, and and it was just neat. All the kids that came and. The stories that I heard, some were uplifting, their parents were amazing, and some were just absolutely heartbreaking. Like, I just can't even imagine wanting my child to move out, and I don't know, it was sad. And I just noticed a lot of the high school kids didn't have supportive parents, and they were in need of just the reaffirmation that they're doing good and and that they are loved. And so... I thought, well, I reached out to Free Mom Hugs, actually the national chapter in Oklahoma, and asked, how can I get involved in Iowa? And they said, well, Iowa doesn't have a chapter. Do you want to start it? (laughs) So (laughs) I said, yeah. (laughs) No, that's good. And, and, And how is that going today? Have they, has the organization then grown throughout the state? Um, Yeah, so we have um, regional chapters all across the state. So I believe it's five or six different regions that the state has broken into now. And so I took a step back from being the state leader just to being a regional coordinator for our area so I could stay in northwest Iowa. We communicate with the other chapters often. There's one out of Des Moines, um, one in Iowa City, and then southeast Iowa has one as well. We, we all try to communicate and make sure everybody's needs are getting met the best they can throughout Pride Month, but all year long, really. And I was going to say, speaking of needs, the political climate's really shifting in our state. Um, many laws enacted that many feel are against LGBTQ yeah. individuals. What are your thoughts about that? It's unfortunate, but we just want to make sure that we are continuing to have a strong presence to show um, those in the community that we stand with them and we are there for them, that we love them and want them to be in our community still. I know a lot of people are leaving the state because of some of these laws, which is really sad. Um, So we just feel the need more than ever just to show up and be a part of the community and help build, build the strong sense of community for them. Speaking of community, what can they do to show support? To show support, like show up to events and just offer yourself as a lending ear, um, a good listener, and a good advocate. You know, you can you can write to your Congress people, just you know, telling them how you feel these laws maybe affect changes negatively. But as far as like being in our community, what I've found is so important is is just being there. Um, when I'm at the Pride events, I can't believe how many people need hugs, how many people don't have just something simple as a hug um, to, to give a positive affirmation to them and to show them that they are loved. And it just, it's amazing to me. Every Pride season is, I just feel that we are needed in the community. So I'm, I'm thankful to be a part of it. And community events are coming up too to celebrate. Yes. Um, on Saturday, June 3rd, there are actually two different events happening at the same time. The SUX Pride Um, event at the convention center and then also the Siouxland Pride Alliance is having an event outdoors in front of the public museum. We will be having tables at both of those events and are still looking for volunteers to come help us with that. I know on June 1st there's also going to be a pride parade here in Sioux City. Always looking for more people and you don't have to be a mom. That's like a a common misconception of the name. You don't have to be a mom. You can, we have dads and uncles and brothers too. We have just grandmas and aunts and it's just everybody, you know, to show up and show the love. Anything else you think people should know? Anything else you'd like to say? Just like I said, if you, if you want to be involved, we're always welcoming um, new, new people and there's nothing to membership. You just join 
and you're in, you know, there's no cost and, and to just, to be there, it's, it's so important now more than ever. So, um, everybody's always welcome to, to join us at these events and, and to show the love.